We did this maze a couple years ago, and for the fans of Horror Nights, this was a maze they absolutely loved. And we wanted to do a sequel for many years, uh, and this year we went ahead and did that. Uh, but always, when we're doing anything with a brand that we create, we want to try and change it uh, if we're going to present it again. So in this case, it was all about maintaining the characters that were in that maze, which were these uh, manic super soldiers, uh, but placing them in a different environment. Uh, David Hughes and I have wanted to do a maze based in a train for years, and we've done that this year. The entire first half of this maze is in train cars. Uh, you're actually on a transit taking our, our manic super soldiers uh, to, from one location to another. And along the way, of course, something horrible goes wrong. Um, they take over the train. They actually derail it. In the middle of the maze is a derailment scene. And the back half, you're witnessing just the destruction of this train into a small town. And the dogs of war have been released. Uh, it's a really uh, energized maze. It's a very violent maze. Uh, it's something we're really proud of because uh, it's, it's going to be over in our disaster uh, extended queue. And there are some sets that we have never attempted before in a disaster queue line. The scale of this maze is, is pretty epic uh, for what we've done in the past with disaster. So we're really, really proud of it.